The man convicted of kidnapping and killing 10-year-old Breja Terrell learned his fate today. News 8's Nina Burns is live in downtown Davenport where the judge handed down a double life sentence to Henry Dinkins. Hi, Nina. It's been a long road to justice in this case. A long road indeed, Shelby. And with a mandatory sentence of life in prison, today's sentencing hearing could easily be assumed as pretty straightforward. But you have to remember, Dinkins was convicted on two charges, meaning two life sentences. That means the biggest question of today was if those sentences would be, con would be done with consecutive or concurrent. Before Dinkins' sentencing, Breja's mother, Aisha Lankford, took the stand to share her victim impact statement. This coming just moments after Dinkins spent 23 minutes addressing the court. Lankford addressing Dinkins directly. What you're about to see is Lankford questioning Dinkins on Breja's, Breja's final moments. You, Harry Dinkins, surrounded that night, that play through my mind every day. Did she want me? Was she scared? Did she see those gunshots coming? Did you shoot her while she was trying to get away? Did she scream for help? Did she beg you to stop? Did you see in her face when, you, when she realized she was shot the first time? What was her last words? Did you stay and watch my baby die? How long did she suffer? The court saw a very different Aisha today versus when the verdict was handed down. That day, she said it felt like she had won the lottery. Today, she noted that her and her family's life will never be the same. And tonight at 5, we take a deep dive into Dinkins' claims on why he received this verdict. Back to you, Shelby. All right, thanks, Nina. Henry Dinkins was sentenced to two consecutive or back-to-back -back life sentences.